A small tip about gripping the bat. Now, this is one of the most fundamentally important things about batting, gripping the bat. Now, I want to use an analogy here, which will help you to remember how hard we grip the bat. Now, the left hand is that of a butcher's hand, okay? And the bottom hand is that of a painter's hand. So good batting is the perfect marriage between a butcher and a painter. Now, if the roles reverse, you are in for absolute baseball hacking, which is the bottom hand will become the butcher and the top hand will become the painter, which you don't want. So this is something just for remembering. Top, top hand, nice and strong, bottom hand, loose, but not so loose. Okay, so just to get that idea how you would hold a paintbrush. Some of you might be wondering, oh, how do I hit the ball hard then? Now, when it is going to be a full ball, you don't need your bottom hand. When it is going to be a cross bat shot, a pull cut sweep, right? Don't worry, your bottom hand is going to automatically grip the bat. That's going to happen automatically. If you can't do that, I'm sorry, cricket is not for you. It's very simple, right? I'll give you an example. If all of us were taught how to eat at the table, right? Um, fork left hand, knife right hand, no elbows on the table, don't talk with your mouth full, because that is not natural. Playing straight is not natural. Okay, so that's why we need a lot of training, a lot of drilling for that. Hitting cross bat full tosses or half trackers is the most natural thing to do. Now, if you can't do that, that's very similar to someone who's struggling to throw up pee or poo. You don't need coaching for pee, pooing and throwing up. If you can't do that, there is a problem. You need to be in hospital, be seen by a doctor. So, coming back again, just to remember, perfect marriage between the butcher and the painter.